Yo, what's up guys, it's Relax here. Just bringing you a quick tutorial on demos in COD4. Um, you're going to need three programs for this. One of them is um, COD4 Player, which is by Cybopat, Cybopat.net. Um, just go to the, their website and then go Projects, COD4 Player, and just download it. You're also going to need Virtual Dub, um, which opens up screenshots from AVI Demo. Alright, any ready? Um, uh, you're also going to need a codec, which uh, is called Huffy UV. Um, all these things will be in the description, so just download them and then you know install them and stuff. Um, if you download to install codecs, here's how. Okay. So first up, open up your COD4 player, and then open demo, and then we're just going to use. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you how to get configs first. That's probably a better idea. Go to cfgfactory.com. I'm sure most of you have heard it, but people who are quite new to PC. This is the place to be if you want help with just um, small things. Um, I'm pretty sure there might even be a tutorial on how to use demos in here. I'm not sure. I've never looked. And then go to movie configs, and then there's a whole bunch. There's loads of them. There's there's about six pages, um, and they're all sexy. Well, most of them. Um, I'm not going to give you mine um, unless you really want it. Then you can ask. But. Um, yeah, so that's how to get configs, and then if you want to, just go and download one. And just sign in. I'll show you how to install it. Just give me a second. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Um, I hope I hope I won't have to put it into two parts. Uh, so I'm just going to download a random one. I don't really care. Uh, that one looks pretty sexy, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, mine was from here actually. I didn't mean to say it was like mine. I've got it from here. I'm not sure which one it's called, but um, I, if you want it, then let's ask. Um, download it. Oh, I do hate uh, CFG Factory sometimes. It's so slow. I'm, I'm just gonna pause it because I don't want to do uh, don't want it to go on too long. So I'm just gonna pause it two seconds. Oh, never mind. There we go. Actually, no, but we'll let it pause so I don't have to uh, wait so long. And I'm back. So I've now downloaded it. Um, we just the. Find the movie.cfg. It may be it's, uh, called different. It's really up to the person who created it. Um, but just look for something uh, .cfg, and then go to your um, COD4 folder, and then go to the main, and then just drag the CFG into the main. I'm not gonna put it there. Um, I've already got a different one, so uh, just cancel that. And then when you're in COD4, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, you just exit, um, execute it, I guess. Um, that are really weird. <laughs> um, open demo. Uh, open up COD4 and open up the demo. Uh, just find it. I should use Tom's. Um, just wait for this to uh, open up. You know what? I best. Oh god, I keep forgetting this. I hate doing tutorials like this because there's so much. Like I have to show you. Oh, for God's sakes! It's three minutes so far. I'll probably just put uh, little parts, like, I'll put it in the uh, comments, so like, if you want to look at the CFGs and stuff, I'll put it in, like, times. Uh, and we're done. Okay, alright. Open up COD4. Uh, you're going to need to change your uh, graphic settings and stuff. Um, it should have already changed, but um, if you want it like mine, then just go to options, then... Uh, graphics and change the video mode to 128 by 960. Aspect ratio to put as auto. Um, this is you can copy this if you want. Don't have to. And then texture change. This should be all this anyway, but um, because of your config. But yeah. Um, and to execute uh, ex, I don't, I don't know. It's just exec. I, just, I don't know. Um, put my, uh, the name of it and then movie.cfg. Um, and then this press enter and then your movie CFG will be loaded. Um, okay, so that's done. Let's quit. Uh, let's go and open up the demo again. It's going to be a bit slower this time because it's always slow with configs and sexy graphics and stuff. So just give me a minute. I might pause this again because I don't want it to go on too long. Okay, and I'm back. I'm sorry if it's a bit flashy. Um, I can't read really anything about that because I'm using t uh, Camtasia Studio. So, yeah. Uh, just a few controls you might want to know um, for COD4 player. You cannot use the 
numbers uh, at the top of your keyboard, you got to use the right hand keypad thingy. Um, you got to use all of them on there. So if you want slow mo, you press two on there, and if you want like ultra, you press eight. Uh, six is fast and that. Okay, so let me just exit my one. Uh, yeah, and if you want to change the FOV scale, um, this really isn't really a part of the tutorial. Just put CG underscore FOV scale and then what you want. Um, okay, so for AVI demo, uh, open up your the little con uh, console which is below escape and to the left of one put in forward slash co underscore avi demo uh, 200 is up to you um, it could be 120, 60, 1000 I don't know I'm doing it 200 though and then let's press enter and it will go very very laggy um, it's fine it's meant to do that it's, it's all good um, I'm just gonna let this record for just gonna let it record just for a few seconds, don't want too long. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm just gonna stop it now. And then to stop it, put in, open up your con uh, console again, and then force that to underscore AVI demo zero. And there you go. I'm just gonna exit this. <coughs> um, yeah, and then, oh my god, I hate when my computer says this. Open up Virtual Dub, and if I'll open. Um, where it would normally be saved is in Mod Warfare, so go Call Duty 4, uh, Mods, um, Mod Warfare, and then Screenshots, and then just open this up. I've already done one, I've already tried to do this, but that was uh, when I failed horribly and I didn't realise. Uh, okay, so. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. Uh, and then go video frame rate. Already done this, but make sure you put the this ticked, and then 200 or 120. Like I said, it depends on what you used uh, rec recorded in with AVI demo. And then go video. Uh, uh, what's it doing? Compression. And then put it as the Huffy UV codec, and then press OK. And then go file, save as, and then save as whatever you want it to be saved as. I'm just gonna. So yes, I said I already tried to do this. And then this, then do its ting. It shouldn't take too long, so I'll just wait. Actually, you know, I'm gonna pause it just and uh, fuck it, sort of done it. I'm sorry for the not so good tutorial. I need to get better at doing tutorials and stuff, but I will, I will as I do more, they will become better and better explained. Um, but I hope this is helping you. If it isn't, then just leave comments and stuff. We're pretty much done now. Um, just need to change the aspect ratio in Vegas. And obviously disable resample. You need to do that in COD4 uh, clips. Same with any uh, any clips. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have a look at that one. Looks sexy. I, man, those two at the top look so sexy. I might I might have to download them. They look so nice. Damn. Is it open? Hurry up. There we go. Okay, now just go find your file. Uh, it'll be an AVI file. There you go, tutorial file. Put it in Vegas. By the way, if you wanna if you wanna record sound, do what what do everything I just did, but do not record with AVI demo. I use Fraps. Um that will record the audio and then you just gotta match it up. That's what I do. There is other ways but it takes longer and it just it works just as fine the way I do it. Well I I think so. Um so as you can see it's not a hundred uh, hundred twenty uh, two uh, twelve eighty by 720 so you just need to change the aspect ratio and we'll put it as a preset uh, event pan crop and then 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and as you can see it looks pretty sexy now and then we'll just put a bit of disable reset on that bit and there you go that is your clip rendered out from AVI demo uh, rendered out you <laughs> I'm being retarded today whatever <laughs> um, yes yeah, so that's done and yeah, I hope this helped you guys. If there is any problems you have, um, then just leave it in the comments and I'll try and help you. Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit.